Hi guys, welcome back to Estella Wilson Creation. Today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. You guessed it. I got like everyday kind of home items in this video. So I really hope you guys are having a good day. Again, you guys know I love spending time with you. So let's just get into the video. I found tons of stuff that I either needed to replenish, retry, or had to have. So let's just go. Okay, the first item I got was this pizza cutter. These are Betty Crocker, and I needed a new one. This one was bigger, probably sharper because it's new, so I decided to pick up this. I also got the, um, what do you call this? The pillar, the potato pillar. I picked up that one because I don't have one of those. And then I did get the whisk egg beater um, because... I don't have one of these neither. So I picked up these three items that I'm gonna add into my kitchen um, utensils that I need. Okay, the next item that I got was, I have nothing to do with kitchen, right? Were these foam brushes. I got these for my husband because he needs to do some touch-up paint. So he just asked for these. These were the only ones that Dollar Tree had this time. I know sometimes they have the other ones with the bristles, but these are from Tool Bench. And I picked these up. And whichever ones he doesn't use, they'll come back down to my craft room, so... Okay, the next item I got were these 15-inch latex balloons. I got them because they're in these all these pastel colors, which I just love, especially in the springtime. And then I also think if you're having a baby shower or, I don't know, these are definitely springy summer colors. So I did pick a bag of those up. I'm just going to put them with my party stuff. That's the plan. The next item I got were these hot cocos. My niece was asking me for some hot cocoa and it didn't have any. So I picked these up, even though my sister just gave me some. Um, anyway, we got six more to add. So that should last us at least a little bit. So I picked these up as well. Okay, um, let's go with the baking goods. I did find these baking tools. So this is cake decorating tool set. I'm not sure if I'm going to give these to my mom or keep them for myself, but I picked this one up. I also picked up these, but I think, I don't think that she will like these because I know she has some more expensive ones. So I'm thinking maybe I'll keep that to myself. It has the shell, the petal, the round, the weave, the star, and the ruffle. I also picked up some disposable icing bags that comes in handy, um, but I wanted this bag, this tip. I believe this is a reusable bag, um, and it says take cake decorating kit, and it also comes with some um, tips, but these tips to me are cheaper made than these. You can tell. So, I don't know. I did pick those up as well. So, I might be keeping all this stuff for me. And then the other thing that I got was this icing comb set. I feel like I can use this a lot in crafting, not just with cakes, but because... Let me open it. I feel like it will work similar to when you are... Especially if you're using your silhouette. Like, see? I feel like this will be... Yes, good for that. So actually, these two I might leave in my craft room. And then this comb one I'll take upstairs because when else am I going to... I guess you could use this for crafting too if you're going to play with some kind of paste. I don't know, I'll probably put that upstairs. These two I'll leave downstairs with my silhouette stuff. So you can... Keep in mind, if you're doing other things, these might work for that. So that is part of the baking stuff. Okay, I did find sprinkles. So I got these crystal sugar um, crystals, colored sugar crystals in green. It's kind of hard to see. And then I got these, which is the yellow sprinkles. And then they had sugar crystals in red. So in sugar crystals, they had green, red. Let me see if I can zoom in. Green, red. And then they had the sugar crystals in blue. And my sister was thinking about doing a Tiffany blue. Um, oh, so that's it for the crystals that I got. And when I turn them over, it's not full, so. 
Those are the colors. I'm going to put them with my baking stuff. And over here you have yellow, sprinkles. What is this? We have a red, which is like a dark pink to me. And then a really pink. So here are the colors. Let me try to turn them over. So not really red to me. I think that's a pink too. But you get the picture. So that's what I got for like baking stuff. Okay, the next item I got was um, nuts, tons of nuts. My niece been saying she's been hungry at school. These are a little container. I feel like it's something she can throw in her book bag. So I got these big mixed nuts. It says peanuts, Brazil nuts, cashews, and almonds. I can't eat or touch any of those, so nope, not for me. And then they got this mixed nuts, less than 80% bonus size. And it doesn't say Pacific Kinds in this one, but got that one. Then they just had classic peanuts, so I picked that up. I could probably eat this, but wouldn't. I'm allergic to tree nuts, not peanuts. I just kind of stay away from all of them. And then, I hope you guys saw these. I'm just going to put them back in one more time. I didn't realize it was still um, zoomed in. So, those were the nuts. And then they had these bigger ones. So I got these dry roasted peanuts, salted. And then I got the honey roasted peanuts. So I thought that she would like eating all these peanuts. And it's good for you. And she can take them as a snack. Okay, the next item I got was really all in the nail department. Um, these things are a lifesaver. Now, I rate these a 10 out of 10. If you need cuticle trimmers, buy these. Like, I love them. I had one. My niece broke it. Now I have two. I'm going to put one downstairs and one upstairs so I can go ahead and open it for you. But when she broke it, Dollar Tree did not have them. I didn't know where they were going to go. So this thing comes. You put it, You put it down. And then you cut your nail like this. So basically, it works like this. And I love these more than Walgreens. I bought one from Walgreens for $13, and I would rather have these. These are so great. In my store, they had pink, and I think they had green. I didn't want the green, so I just got two pinks. I'm going to leave one down here for when I need an emergency. And then this one will go upstairs in my room. 10 out of 10, guys, if you need those. Better than Walgreens or Walmart to me. And then I did get this gel polish remover tool. Um, basically, I got it for when I remove, like, my dead skin. Because I do want to take care of my own nails. And then I thought, let's give this a try. It says remove whiteheads and blackheads for all skin types stainless steel. I don't know if this works, but we will see. So I picked that up. I got this. I got this um, Maybelline lip color. I thought this would be a good stocking stuffer. So that's why I got that for my niece. Along with these nails. So I got the pink version for her. And then I got this purple version for her. Neither of them are my things. So these are coffin shaped. So I got both of those for her. And then for Halloween I got these for me. And um... I don't know. I guess I can use them next year or I don't know when. Maybe I'll put them on on my finger. I don't know. Anyway, I got these. Probably not at this point. I don't know. Anyway, these glow in the dark. The other ones are just matte finishes. So I did pick up those. And where are we on time? We're doing good. I did pick up these water watermelon water, ta water taffies. And I love these. These are good. I got these before. They came back out. They also got the Dreamsicle ones. I'm not a huge fan of those, so I didn't pick those up. These are also great for gift baskets, especially in the summer if you're doing a watermelon theme. But, yeah, I picked that up as well for me. This is a repeat buy, this vanilla cream. My niece really liked it, so I picked that up again for her. Okay, we are going to try to keep on going with the good stuff. It's pretty long haul, guys. I picked up these for work. They're um, Thanksgiving um, pot holders, oven mitts. So I did get two for work. I got that one, give thanks, and then I got this one with the blue truck. I'm not really doing blue here in my house, so I thought I could use those at work. Um, and then you got this one, hello, 
fall and then the give thanks towels so maybe the towels i'm going to keep the oven mitts definitely are going to work so that's for that um let's keep on going we're at 10 minutes so let's see what else we can put in here it's not going to be that much more we got a few more items i found these sloth socks these are definitely going to be um, my niece stocking stuffers or her little gifts. I got these for me. They're pink buffalo plaid. So cute. So those are going upstairs. I couldn't resist this mermaid notepad. Too cute. Um, I'm trying not to buy mermaid or unicorn stuff, but this is too adorable for a dollar. Had to pick it up. Also got these in the party um, area. I thought I could use these in crafting. They're glasses, novelty glasses. So this has the two swans. Or you can use it if you're doing a reveal, like a pink and blue. So it could be a uh, girl-boy kind of reveal party. They also had these mermaid ones. Again, don't really want mermaid stuff anymore. But look how cute this is. I thought I could use this in some kind of way. Make a shaker. I don't know. But... I had to get them and then they have this unicorn again another theme I'm not trying to pick up more stuff for but yet what do you see in my hand unicorns and then I got these rainbow ones this is definitely going to make a really nice shaker so super cute there and then I got two happy birthday signs a gold and then a silver um, always good to have birthday stuff Two more items, guys. I got this Star Wars bag. Look at Baby Yoda. He looks old there. The bag on the side. OMG. So cute. The bag. So I picked that up. And then the last item was this rug. Um, I passed on this rug. They've had this rug several years. Several years. It says, hey, hey there, pumpkins. But I had... Um, did a DIY and I put this on a board and I really like this for art. Um, and the one that I even started, I can embellish it even more. It just ain't did it yet. So if you are not looking at this as far as actually making it a, what do you call these? A mat, a floor mat, a decor mat, whatever you want to call this. Think of it as wall decor. If you like the image, maybe you can use it in that way. So that is it guys, 12 minutes of Dollar Tree goodness. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you made it to the end of this video, in the comments write, hey there pumpkin. I would love to know who made it to the end of the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.